Pastor Bob here from True Life Community once again. The clear word Bible tells us in 1 Thessalonians 5, verses 17 and 18, never stop praying. Be thankful to God for what he has done for you, no matter what happens. This is the kind of life God expects from those who know Jesus Christ. Okay, so how do we pray without stopping? Well, it doesn't mean you have to close your eyes while you're driving your car so you can pray. It doesn't mean that you kneel down on the busy sidewalk and start praying. It simply means that we should be always in the attitude of prayer. That is, no matter what may happen, where we are or how we are treated, we are comfortable in turning to God in prayer and asking him for wisdom to handle the situation. Sometimes that means we pray with our eyes open or our posture is not what we would be if we were in church. I admit that I sometimes pray when I am lying in bed or sitting in my car, sitting in my office or before I have lunch or dinner. I'm always thankful that God has brought me to another day or has given me another meal to enjoy or a family whom I love and who love me. I am thankful for health and energy that only comes from God who cares for me. I think it's important to set aside times to pray. We need to spend time in the Bible, learning what God has to say to us. He speaks to us through his word, you know, through the things he has created in nature for us to enjoy. They speak to us of his care for the birds, his ability to bring color to the sky and the flowers and the trees and people. Prayer is a direct address to God. It is the communication of a human being with the one who created all human beings. Prayer can be spoken out loud or silent. It can be private or public. It can be formal or informal. One ingredient that comes from us when we pray is faith. Faith is knowing that God is, that he exists, and that he hears us when we come to him in prayer. Another ingredient that comes from you and me in prayer is not seeking our own will, but seeking to align ourselves with the will of God more fully. First John tells us we have confidence in approaching God to know that he will listen to whatever we ask in harmony with his will. That's found in First John 5, verse 14. Father, help us to be praying warriors, that is, praying every day so that you can lead us to the, uh, to the fulfillment of all of uh, our desires. In Jesus' name, amen.